All right, I just wanted to add a, a quick little uh, video here on uh, constant type uh, values. So in my previous tutorials, I either specified uh, how to move a value into a register or a type into a uh, register uh, separately, but as it turns out, you can also uh, just do the whole thing in one go by giving your value first and then the type signal afterward. And that will actually just uh, recognize it as the same exact thing. So just want to quick uh, show you. You know, just move to iron or whatever into uh, register one. And you get that. And uh, now I want to show you a little bit here about uh, the arithmetic involved in it. So whenever you perform some kind of mathematical uh, operation with these uh, different uh, registers, so he's say like, uh, in this case, it's going to be register th 2 minus register 3, so 3 copper minus 2 iron. What actually happens is it'll just ignore the types, so you'll have 3 minus 2, and wherever you save it to, that's where it is going to be your uh, resultant type. So if wherever you save <coughs> the uh, result to, the type that that register already has is just going to stay where it is. So, like I said here, operations preserve destination. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, subtra subtract this here from this here and uh, store it in register 2. So 3 minus 2 is uh, 1. And I'll just uh, get 1 as the result, store it here. And since the type is already copper uh, in here, it'll just preserve the type. It, it doesn't, uh, any kind of calculation doesn't affect your type. So. Just to give you that one there. And just as a little example here as well, it also works even if there is no type. So when you do mathematical operations and uh, save it into a blank space, none of these will carry over, just it'll remain blank. So right here, just added one plus two, you know, this register plus this register is value three. Store it in a register that has uh, no type, you know, as a blank value, but you know, it just, uh, it only carries over the values, so you don't have to worry about your types or whatever getting screwed around with or whatever by your mathematical operations. That's not important. The only thing that FCP worries about is the value. And then when it stores it into a register, it preserves the type. So just wanted to give you a quick little uh, thing there on how to use uh, these little uh, constant type uh, values. All right, that's this one.